you're constantly contesting it and then just have that Roadhog push out behind barrier, get a hook in, drop him into the well. So to begin at least, it seems like Recry will be here on the Brigida and it will be matching comp. So both teams gonna be running main tank Orisa with a diva to back him up and then McCree's on either side. Yep, the Mar the sorry, the Orisa barrier uh, can actually give you a lot of extra protection with the McCree. So that on top of the halts you were talking about to pull people into the well. Very strong recall oh. gets sniped though. Okay. Name looking for a big boot. Not gonna happen. Yeah, innovation. Uh is get, getting picked off. In a cast through the barrier straight up into the air. Didn't allow it to hit the ground immediately, and then Recry got popped. They do answer back, and it's actually gonna be the first cap coming through here for the side of Meta Athena. Yep. Those named is trying to get these flanks off. He was nearly able to get a, a sound barrier, or storm blast, I believe it was called, a kill there, the right click. Um from sneaking around, but it did not happen. Now you can see Apache leading the ult charge here as usual, and build that first transcendence to hold a push. You can do that with just one support ultimate. Once the barrier falls, just his accuracy is going to be important here to build that barrier up rather than transcendence up. Little barrier back down here onto the corner, now gonna get broken. And Athena gonna be shoved away for the moment, but Colby Benthera not really capping this one here at the moment. Barrier coming back down. Now Meta and Athena in a good spot as far as ults across the border concerned. Name's going to be behind Costas, but Apache, like you said, getting closer and closer to that transcendence now. Just going to be 2% away, just about. Yeah, I mean, this is really going to be tough for Kongdu Panthera to break. Unfortunately, without an opening pick, and the answering support ultimate will be there. They just keep inching closer and closer. Now it's going to be the sound barrier out for Kongdu Panthera as he looks for the fight. Slash bang into innovation, but not going to be able to lock anybody up. Transcendence is there from Apache, keeps everybody topped up. Buston will be the first one to get knocked out of that pack, but now Enacast is going to be dragging it out. They lose the Supercharger. Only Benthera is looking for the flip, but a sound barrier comes through from Meta Athena, pushing their way back in, trying to shove them out of here, but Innovation is going to be out of there as Costa sends it flying with a boom. Finds the kill, and Meta Athena might have just used both of their support ultimates to not be able to get this take back here. The Superman maintained control, but now finally Kongdu do get it. See how long they can maintain control here. Deadeye getting ready to come online. They have a self-destructed by themselves some space. And the support ultimate's guaranteeing them a little bit more percentage. It might have gotten them the flip had innovation not died instantaneously there. So good play by Costos to make that happen. But they do have, obviously, the time advantage in their favor. Kong yeah, they bought a there. lot. Yeah, and Kongdu there had to use their support ultimates too. So it was an even trade in that regard. So Kongdu there is going to have to do something to trade up now on the defense that Meta Athena, you know, they're going to have to basically do more than Meta Athena. Well, Meta Athena has gone ahead and surrendered the Orisa battle, have swapped Anacast over onto the Winston. Right now, going to be sitting on the high ground. Looking for an avenue of approach as Kongdu there gets to 35%. Bomb gonna be into the back, shield up. However, for choice one blocks that one out, but Selly's still gonna be taken down by his opposing enemy, McCree. Rally out, recry, just gonna be bashing and swinging here in the front line, gonna break through that barrier, trying to find a pickoff. Almost do get busted out of that mech, but now the sound barrier comes through, helping to buy a little bit more time in the fight. Bomb out. The truck hits, not going to be finding a pickoff, but Dustin makes it back into the mech success successfully. The innovation will die in the process, so still going to be a good look here for Kongu Benthera, despite this point nearly getting flipped in Meta Athena's favor again. Okay, so Meta Athena has one really good shot at this now, coming up here. In the longer fight, Named will have that sound barrier. And I always say this, in the longer fight, meaning if they continue to contest and he continues to heal at 30% that he's missing now, is going to get up real quick. So he'll have the opportunity to win that fight with the support ultimate um, to kind of give that extra sustain. And with the Winston swap over here for Enocast, like, there's a lot of damage potential to blow up Selly. So they're gonna need that barrier first, though. I think they're just kind of gonna wait for it. And they Ooh, do shift it around the back, playing ring around the Rosie right here, just changing sides. I love it from Kongu Banthera. Get back in onto the point, now gonna be above 90%. They're watching that right-hand side. Deadeye gonna be coming down. They're gonna block this one out. Waiting for the pop, everybody coming back around the corner, and seems like Selly will not be able to find a target. The barriers were up, but there you go, a halt down from Drew, finds Recry going into the well. Now push aggressively around the side here from this from Kongdu Panthera as they look to close things out. OT gonna be taken away, Innovation himself has the Deadeye down, pops it, but Kostos makes his way behind the barrier just in time to keep himself alive. And Akash in the meantime getting locked up, has that Primal Rage pop, but they just melt right through him, but despite all of this, Flip comes in. Kongdu Panthera looking to regain control, nearly taking this one back, but Athena, can they hold it? Jump in, bomb. 
coming through. We're not gonna find a pickoff and a recry. Gonna get taken down now in exchange on the McCree. As Sally will fall. But early, I think, from Agatha, that transcendence. Now the counter one comes out from Apache. This is looking really good for Meta Athena. I cast almost getting pooped out into the well, named as well, but he can just go ahead and skirt around the inside edge, gets himself back out. They, they need to touch in. Drew gonna get taken down, and they cannot get it in time. 199. As close as you can get, Meta Athena barely scraped by a win on well. That was really early, unfortunately, for Agatha. The Transcendence was a bit of a panic moment there. After the self-destruct came out, they thought that some of that extra damage was going to bleed through and they were going to get wiped, so he, he pressed that Q button. But the problem is that in a situation like this where, you know, your Winston has bought a lot of time and everyone's got that positional advantage, if you press that too early, when you have a few seconds left to go before the cap comes through, then they're going to win the fight with a second Transcendence. You always want to, in the, in the Zenyatta Folk Dance Chicken, you always want to, um, to hit it second, right? You always want to be the last person to transcend if nobody dies during theirs. Then you have the advantage on cooldowns, on health, everything. And uh, just good patience by Apache. So he basically won them that round. Nice plays by Named as well throughout. Almost falling down in that well, but not quite. Well, both squads going to be pushing up the left side here on that high ground. Drop down first for Meta Athena as they see the Kongu band there. It does have a Reinhardt. Yep, Ryan versus the Winston here, more mobility. Brando Cast with more direct kill potential for Kong there and better team fighting potential when that shatter becomes online. Lock is gonna be coming in from the side. Hoon just playing up on the flank. Point gonna get unlocked. But that Phoenix posture down. They start getting that cap coming through. Kong now gonna be contesting it as Cleston goes dangerously low. They're trying to top him back up. It seems like he will go ahead and get melted out of that in the end. Jump forward. Looking for any more pickoffs here, and True will get taken down by Inakas, who now feels very free to leap forward. But as I say, that does get locked down. Agatha coming up with some nice shots there on the Zenyatta, managed to take on the Winston, but in the end, Medathina will be able to get that cap. They certainly will. You can see True just wasn't able to do a ton of damage in that fight. We do have the unfortunate d mech there. Cleston does finally get that back up. But they do have double support ultimates to deny this first push. Here's the grab first. Grab coming down, Transcendence is in from Apache. Oh, they're actually gonna be stacking the ultimates here. This could cost them in the long run. Let's see how things are gonna turn out. Now Agatha popping that Transcendence last. No one has died from the side of Kongu Band there, and they also are holding onto that sound barrier still. Nobody getting picked off. Kongu's still gonna be trying to flip the point here. Innovation might need to invest that grab. He does go ahead and dumps that one down. They're looking for the picks off, pick off here. But so far, it's still gonna be the members of Meta Athena falling into this fight. Apache and Recry both go down. Innovation now gonna be picked off as well as in a cast. Kongu should be able to net a flip out of this. Name tries to set up the big explosion there again for Hoon's mech, but it does not happen. So this ends up being, uh, you know, as you say, the stacked support ultimates that really cost Meta Athena. You know, you mentioned it early on in that fight. They didn't have the later support ultimates they needed. Still, 41% not terrible, but obviously in this meta, it's pretty weak compared to the 70 to 80 you would expect. For the approach here as well, uh, Kongdu Panthera have a lot of counter ultimates. The, those support ultimates to stop it, this should be an easy hold. So we're gonna be looking to set up the Shatter, pushing up around the corner here as Inacast gets taken down. Can just hold on to that there as Innovation will fall as well. Kongdu Panthera primed to go ahead and take the lead. This is the worst feeling ever too because you, you fail a push like this and you retreat, but you get no ult charge out of it. You don't actually commit further. Um, you know, as the Zarya even because you're just not able to get in there to build that charge. So again, Kongu Panthera holds all the cards right now and now has the control meter advantage. They've got the scout here on the positioning, so this can get tossed into the wall. They're pushing forward. Sally just going to be building up, flips over to the side, gets that solo ult in on a recry as well as that self destruct, but they still find the pickoff now. Reinhardt here up into the front, both going to be taken down. It's true, and Enek has fall, but popped out of the mech as soon, and he will be swiftly taken care of. Wipe coming in, Kongu Banthera now 70 plus. Looks like we might be going to a final round of Ilios, Wolf. Still, it does look that way. I mean, again, Innovation finally now has that grab, but getting it up here on this approach that they're taking the left side again here, right side from Kongu Banthera's perspective to come through, it's going to be really tough to make that valuable, especially when Agatha is holding the Transcendence, but that's their only shot here. And look at this, look at the kite back from Kongdu Panthera, not allowing them to get the drop it down, bash in, and it gets falling low, but they will be able to go ahead and push him back up with that transcendence. Now the ground search comes out, innovation locking up the members, the bombs into the back. 
Can he find some picks off pickoffs? The shield comes down. Now the shatter straight afterward. And that should be the fight here from Meta Athena. They get this wipe effectively. And Selly is trying to limp his way back, but he loses out on the armor. Will get taken down by Retry in the end. 41%. They finally flip it as Kongrivit there ahead hit overtime. Named again with a big play with the right click there. Killing Kostos was one of the most important persons, uh, people to kill because he had the sound barrier about to be ready, and that could have really turned the fight. Kept everyone alive, used the old Kong defense there, and now holds. But this is by no means the end of the map for Meta Athena. They've got that ult disadvantage right now. That barrier for Named needs to be really good if they want to have any chance of closing this out 2-0. If Hoon can come up huge, get eat on this grab from Sally. That could be the thing to turn it around. Coming down, only going to be locking up the here for the moment. Now sound barrier out from Kong Jubin there as they try to take the fight. The grab is on surge. Going to be locking up three Apache in a cast. Now going to be taken down. Responding grab is there, but there's just not enough members from Meta Athena here to try to pick up any kills. So Hoon will still get taken out of the mech. And the flip starts to come through. Kong Jubin Thera, they manage to get it here at 99%. And I don't think anybody is going to be able to tag in. Too far away, they extend it a little bit longer here on the back side. As it's just named doing his damnedest, but will get taken down in the end. Bomb comes down from Cleston, zoning them back even further. They start inching their way through. Keeping this one contested. Inacast with a shield up, but they just keep bleeding members one after the other. Now Inacast going to be isolated, taken down by Agatha. Shatter comes through. Hoon locked up out of the mech and dead. Transcendence forward. Agatha just keeping everybody else topped up as they watch it go to 100. So one final round on the lighthouse here to close out Ilios. Yep, and this is the part where we may see Recry's Farah, you know, the this is the moment where they have the opportunity to try to go for that counter. It's a risk in this meta. We're seeing a lot of Enocast Winston today, so um, it might not be the best move. It might not end up coming to fruition, our wishes, but very close round there on Ruins. And, uh, you know, positional advantage is shown there by a Meta Athena, or sorry, rather by Kongdu Panthera. A lot of that was decided by their ability to be patient, control the choke. Well, Recry is on the Brigida, so spoiler alert, it's not going to be what you and, and I and probably what a lot of people want to watch. The world. Yep. However, we will have one change. Apache is not going to be on the Zenyatta, the and he will be on the Ana. So they're looking to set up those healed and eyes off the Graviton Surge, as it would seem already. Batch coming in on the charge. It's going to be a knockdown there. And Inacast goes off the side of the map, I suppose, is what I could guess. But uh, otherwise, it's going to be a nice little cleanup here for Gungu Banthera as they find three other kills that they can at least credit themselves with. Yep. Well, Apache's uh, original hero that he played that he was most known for was his Ana always, but obviously he became more known for, as a Zen in this meta. Um, he is going to swap over to that Zen here as the respawns come through. The bio grenade can net you a huge fight at, level, at the you know first fight at neutral, but after that, it's a little bit rough to run that. You don't have the counter play to the grab. Sally playing forward here, trying to build up near 100 energy now, closer and closer to that grab. We've been there unrelenting, they push maybe a little bit too far forward now because now True is going to be picked off. Start cutting their way back over towards the point to try to stay alive. 100 energy here from Selly. Nearly has the grab online, but Innovation's just a little bit faster here. And it's just to lock him down. Selly falls. They're looking for a little bit more to try to get this flip through. Agatha going to be gone. Really just, okay, less than half a... Uh, a weird moment as he just spins around on top of the ceiling. Yeah, he just wanted to buy time to see if he could basically get a few more percentages. He got like 2% off of that. He was trying to be sneaky. He was trying to pretend like he was a ceiling fan. Yeah. Maybe they wouldn't notice exactly. Him. Uh, I thought he did a pretty good job. I thought it was pretty realistic myself. But no, I didn't know when they added that to the map. It yeah. must have been a recent patch. Well, now look at this. I mean, this is pretty even <laughs> ultimates. Like, if Metathena botches this fight with their support ultimates again, like Ruins, then Kondra there wins this Ooh, match. Shatter on the side. Shield comes up. Drew does keep himself safe in the moment. But the structure class is not going to find anything, makes his way back into the back. True as well, not going to be able to find anything. It's going to be sound barriers up from both sides. Agatha now using that transcendence, hoping to keep the rest of his team topped up. They still managed to lose our Reinhardt, but now we'll be able to exchange back as Sally comes up with a kill. Innovation burns his way up, has another Graviton Surge online. Meta Athena, do they want to invest it now to try to maintain control? The answer is going to be no. Actually, no, does toss this one out, bomb into the back, managed to find Sally and Choice A1. They want a very fast flip back into their favor. Innovation. Still high energy here, helps burn Cleston out of that mech. True, almost going off the side of the map, but now really has nowhere to run. He's going to be inching his way forward, but they constantly 
shove him back. They take him down, and Meta Athena regains control. And uh, Apache, I think the reason why they committed to that fight was because Apache was at like 70% of his transcendence right after he used the previous one. So they were like, you know what? I think he's going to get that. I think we have to sustain. We can reasonably do this. But he gets to hold it now as well, which is really nice for Meta Athena. And they're massively ahead in terms of ult economy right now. Innovation is just grabbing free ult charge here with these right clicks. And he's been building so very rapidly. Yeah, he has. Smelly just too far behind here. He's maybe even going to get lapped again. This innovation is now at 74%. Jose Juan, the first one to get taken down. Classed out of the mech. True, going to be gone. Agatha manages to find Inacas, but that's just a slight little respite here. As Recry tries to stay alive, does get pistoled down by Cleston in the end, but still going to be a nice hold for Meta Adina. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much in the bag, you would think. Approaching this now for Kong there is going to be so difficult, and they don't have any advantages in terms of ults right now. I mean, sure, they have the self-destruct, but that's, like, Moon's going to have that in just a second, too. He's over here to scout and to get that final percentage, and he will get it. Grab Rash comes down, locks them in. Cluston now going to be dumping the bomb straight into the face. Transcendence out from Agatha. Everybody else topped up, and Cluston will get popped. Hoon actually going to get, or rather, Cluston finds a pop there as Hoon gets knocked out of the back. The flip coming through. As Costos tries to find this by himself, they take down Named, and they will be able to gain control. 99% again. Each of these rounds on Ilios, so dangerously close. Yeah, did Hoon actually use his self-destruct? I, I could not tell. I'm going to wait. We're gonna, we'll find out as soon as he either dies here or rematch. I don't believe he did. I, I think don't he, think he got so. knocked out by Cleston. And that's a big problem. I think they could have won that fight if he remaxed actually. Either way, we'll find out right now. Where is he at? Yeah, he okay, does he have it. it. I think that's a big mistake, actually. I think it cost them really big, and Kongdom there still holds the shatter right now. Name holds the happen. barrier, too. Yep, has that barrier. Already the recry, just a little bit too far forward. He's disconnected, and the sound barrier is not fast enough to help keep him alive. Shatter coming in, and a going to be gone. And this might just be it. Kongdom there Bandera might just be inching their way through to this victory here on Ilios as Hoon and Named both go down. The self destruct not able to find anything. It ticks away. And Kong Du Panthera will be able to come up with this win. Uh, I mean, against the run of play, it was looking like at the end. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned this earlier. I do feel Innovation is really playing the better Zarya versus Selly at the moment. We talked about it a lot last season at the very end when Brigida was released and we had a lot of DPS players playing support. Um, that it's tough when you're hit scan to get put into this new position that's completely different than everything you've, you've done for two years of your Overwatch career. Um, and both of these guys are in that same position. I feel like Innovation has transitioned better than Sully has at the moment. But it's not enough to win them the first map. Just some better decision making overall from Kong to Panthera. And, you know, the Hoon not remaking there, who's to say that would have been exactly what saved them, but it's something he didn't do in a fight that was likely to decide the game. And that's just really unfortunate. So if you hesitate for just a second with that remake, then you don't get to do it. And then you have to, you know, you're stuck in pilot form. You can only remack by self-destructing as the mech is breaking. But if you don't, after that break animation is over, you can't use it that way anymore. You have to either jump off the side or, you know, rebuild your charge. So really unfortunate ending there. Well, we may see a substitution here um, with Mugongwa coming back in for Recry. Did not have his best Brigida game ever there. Could be that or, you know, Modern coming in over Inacast as well. Sure. Two different subs that they have. Kong Dupin there have subs of their own, and it looks like they might be making that happen. Suddenly, Uncertain. Like, suddenly, like, really different Look. music than what we're used to. Yeah. <laughs> suddenly, play suddenly the, like, Cruising USA we music play the wrong, or something. We play the wrong <laughs> track. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to guess we're going to get about two more of these camera shots, and it's going to be back to me and you. Probably. And maybe take a look at some fan signs and then figure out who's coming in for who, and then we'll go ahead and uh, carry on with things and figure out what the next map is going to be. Yep. I would imagine uh, Hollywood will be the pick. That's the map that Metathena was able to tie versus GC Busan Wave. Yep. And their map choice as well. So, um, I didn't count how many camera shots it was. I I'm think not it was sure if you were correct. One, one, and then the third panning shot, and then it was us. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah. Close enough. I'll give it to you. But yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood does seem very likely. That was their choice versus GC Busan. They were able to get that draw this time. They're going to be looking for that victory. Uh, but Hollywood, point A especially, another map where maybe Farah can be played. I have to keep just holding on to a thread of hope that maybe uh, one day it will happen.
I want to see Recry back on some hit scan. Yeah, I mean a lot or, of or even just projectile. From watching Obviously, North America, that's what far is. Yeah, from watching North America and China, we're seeing a ton of far play in those regions, like yeah. more than Korea. We've seen a little bit already here, um, but it's like very prevalent uh, in North America and China. It's it's almost like one goat's one far, no matter what, on every map. It, it, it obviously uh, that's a bit of a, a stretch, but it's a lot of far. But in Korea, people just have not really been too successful with it because the diva play here is better, I think, than in those other regions. So you end up getting your damage blocked, you end up dying. Like, once you run out of gas, once far is out of fuel, you're going to fall down to the ground and then you're stuck in this awkward spot um, where you didn't get enough ult charge. So, and a cast fan here. Uh, I'm not sure what, is that like an angry dog? I'm guessing so, yeah. Okay. Um... 13 years old dog, I guess. Well, we got a Kongdu fan here with Hammond. Yeah, it says Panther, you can do it. Is he supposed to be like leading them into battle, like charging, said, or is he pointing at the eye? It says, he says, uh, Hammond says you can win. <laughs> or like it says, let's win. Okay. Um, and they call him Hemji. Hemji? That's, yeah, that's the nickname for him here. All right. <laughs> that's, that's a great picture. Yeah. Is that like cropped? The Looks like he should be sitting in like a, like reclined in a seat. Yeah. And they just kind of put him up right. I think that's what I think that's what happened. Maybe he was laying on the floor. Oh. Bob. Bob. Bob, do oh, something! Oh look, they got his gun. <laughs> they got his like wrist cannon. Nice. nice. Oh, that's great. Nice. Well, unfortunately, we have to wait a little bit longer before we can have Bob in. I'm not sure when that's gonna happen. Or Probably if it's gonna playoffs, happen. To be I, would I would like to hope that we will have that for playoffs at least. If not before that, it's uh, it says he, they're cheering for uh, YBT, and it's, obviously <laughs> the sign says Bob do something, and he says okay. <laughs> when do we get a Bob cinematic? Yeah, that's this is the big strictly question. about him. Where's the Bob backstory? That like? sounds great. <laughs> well, actually, well, they do have a little bit of Bob's backstory in Ash's kind of like little lore video. Was it she? Wasn't Bob like her butler or something? Yeah. When she's growing up as like a spoiled little brat, and then she, she decided to be an outlaw. Yeah. And then Bob was like, okay, I guess I'm an outlaw now. Well, here's our angry dog from earlier. Good old Bob. Yeah, that is a terrible dog. Yeah. Like, All right, Modern's coming in after we show the Enocast sign. It's like, well. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Your favorite player. He's on the bench. <laughs> Modern has been... Uh, the more consistent Winston, uh, in my opinion, um, and Enocast is flexed onto the Winston a lot, so it, it's, it seems to be the case that Enocast is more control focused at the moment, and we will have Merit coming in for Selly. Given Selly's fairly weak performance on the Zarya, this may be the reason. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this substitution did not occur last week. Well, uh, let me take a flip back through the, my magical yeah. notebook, and I can tell you, in fact, no, it did not happen. Yeah, so this is the first time he's playing. I think we actually didn't have... We had no subs, I think, That's actually, right. in that series with Kongdu versus Gen G. So, yeah, this will be the first time that we get to take a look at Merit. Yep, he's uh, an open division player as far as I remember from researching last week. So I didn't expect to see him come out tonight, but, you know, the... The strength of Selly was never to play Zarya and beam people, right? He was a sniper, uh, had a large hero pool. He's played projectile. And unfortunate innovation outperforming him there on that last map. They take the win, but if you're the coach, you got to think, maybe we sub Merit in. I think it's a good opportunity. Well, Hollywood. well, well. Not a big shocker. Will be the map here. You know, I feel like sometimes you and I are just really good at our job, man. We, like, see patterns, and we relay that to the audience, and then sometimes these things come true. If they don't come true, uh, we explain why it might be a bad decision. Like, I don't know. We, we do that like, a lot, and yeah. then it, gets, it, end up, it ends up getting picked. Yeah. I forget what it was from last season, though. There was a moment where you were like, I really think they're going to go for this, and I was like, wait a second. I had a... Like, a a crazy moment of realization. You had like a That's So I, Raven, I Saw the Future moment. I, like. I flipped so far <laughs> back in my notebook and then like crunched a bunch of numbers and uh, I was just like, no, it's Nimbani. And you're like, what? I was like, this is why. And then it ended up being Nimbani. That was my proudest moment. <laughs> that was my peak. Look, I'm sure I'll be wrong, and you'll be right at least one more time this season. Probably That's at least true. one more time this week, honestly. 
We'll find out. Like, if I had been wrong about Merit, you would have already gotten your quota. So, like, at least at least I was right about that. You're going to get a more interesting one. Uh, <laughs> probably. Just a shout-out to you for the, the That's So Raven reference. That was old as hell. Yeah. It wasn't good either, but, you know. <laughs> I don't know if we're live on Disney right now, but the executives are just sitting there rubbing their hands and like, yes, talk about our IPs. <laughs> Well, for the start of things here, we're going to see... All right, let's get back on top. We'll talk about that to Raven later. That's actually what Walt Disney sounded like back in the day. Yes. <laughs> all good. right, here we go! Weird compositions, all right. So Modern will be on the Reinhardt. Going up on the corner. True just going to be raising that shield, swinging away. Catching a lot of damage, and Modern's just going to get stomped out. Recry dying immediately after, and this is going to be a very rough start for Meta Athena on the attack. Yeah, this is where I noticed for the first time last week, uh, this is where I really started to get a, uh, a feel for Apache's skill. Notice that even though he was wiped, or the team was wiped basically, and you know, they had to reset, he ends up with more percentage than Agatha. Uh, you know, you would expect to have line of sight advantage to getting more ult charge. Nah. But, I mean, that's how, that's probably going to be their approach, right? Look at Modern, he built no ult charge, he couldn't get into swing. So they're going to have to use Transcendence to get this point, and so this push is going to hope that he builds it. That's what they're going to hope for, rather. Meanwhile, Shots Costos. Down. Weakening Apache considerably here, I can talk. 100 energy coming through. Merit now going to be bumped up. That Graviton Surge already, uh -oh. so I think we can see why that swap came through over Selly, but the rest of the squad around him, however, will just go ahead and lose out majorly as Cluston will also get popped out of the mech. And that's going to be the retreat in the camp, just like that. Unfortunately, we didn't have the best shot of how that an opening pick happened, but that's all it takes, you know. You get that, and then points open, you win the fight. Before ultimates for Cone Depend there, so this is an ideal situation for Meta Athena, because the ultimates are how you delay in a situation like this. If you had Agatha with the Transcendence, maybe they could still split the fight, but especially with Merit's faster build, as you mentioned. Now they have this choke that they can walk through for free. I think Cone there probably should have considered contesting this. Rally up now for Recry, as they are expecting Cone there to just collapse from above. The Superman's area we were talking about earlier with Yaki. Dropping that grab in an unexpected angle. Well, this is going to be the drop down. Oh, I just want to throw it yet. Wants to build up some of that energy. Already has forced Meta Athena back a bit, though. Oh, hits it straight here onto the wall. The bomb going to be dropped in from Cleston. Looking for the pickoffs. Manages to find innovation. Transcendence out here from Apache. Not going to be able to save that Zarya from that self destruct. Fire Strike will find that hit. And Modern gets taken down right at the end for an extra little bit of stagger, but still gonna be yeah. just shy of four minutes that Kong Dupin there, I have to keep this up. That was a really cool play by both sides, like the fake out from Kong Dupin, then Meta Athena backed up, so they gained distance through that, but then there was the late commitment there that tripped Meta Athena up. Goats is actually really fun to watch when you look at the subtle things that teams do, and don't make of lies about us on Reddit, um, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. Well, Barrier almost getting broken here. Bomb way into the back. The shield managed to come up for a moment, but Costa's still going to get picked off, and True taken down after by Innovation. Going to be looking to go ahead and match up for another Graviton Surge. Let's so try to catch back up to Merit here, who's sitting at 68%, but dead. Cart will start advancing as Klesson goes down on the back end, and Meta Athena can get a good amount of distance here yeah, on I this think, push. I think Panthera is probably happy about this because they bought a lot of time through uh, and, and forced Meta Athena to use ultimates through the uh, really awkward streets phase here. But they're not going to have ultimates. Meta Athena is not going to have the grab to control this choke. That's the scary part is when the grab is up when they're trying to come out um, you know, of the studio itself. Be happy that they have that transcendence available again. Oh man, the shatter comes down modern, locking him in, but he's not gonna be able to get that pin in. Gonna be hitting that Vanster there on the deck. Transcendence coming out from Apache. Being everybody topped up, they also have the sound barrier from named available should they want to invest it here. And it seems like they will. Clamps that one down. Grab comes in from Merit Bomb coming in from above. Cleston looking for the big offs, true. Gonna be taken down. Modern will be exchanged as Meta Athena keeps the cart contested here. Innovation, however, going to be taken down. Only got the 76%, and now Merit can play cleanup, get even closer to that next grab. This is so good for Kongdu Panthera. They got to avoid the choke point fight. Now they took a good fight after you know exploding out of that choke point. They took a decisive one. They used their ultimates. Now they can meet Meta Athena on the field here. When Innovation does have that grab, it's not going to be in the choke. It's going to be in a more open area. They can even grab this high ground now. 
Uh, Kong Du Panthera is feeling so fantastic about those last two fights. Even though they're down on ultimates, it doesn't matter because they have positional advantage here. Not that it doesn't matter, but you know, it matters much less, I should say. Cart going to be getting some free distance here. As the Kong Du Panthera all play up onto the high ground. Animation is going to be zapping away, nearly has that grab on the line. We'll be getting it right here. See when he wants to use it. Jumping forward, sees that Zarya, pins it into the back of the dumpster, locking them all down. They're going to try to put the team inside the dumpster, but it's not going to work out. Nobody going to get picked off by Hoon. Self-destruct. Transcendence out from Agatha, helping to keep everybody topped up. And now it's going to be Kong Du there answering back as Agatha, Agatha comes up with the first kill there on to Recry. Push forward from Merit, takes down Innovation. Kongu Panthera will be able to hold this one off now. Just going to be a minute remaining. Yeah, and they take the ult efficient fight. They use the high ground. They can use it again. There's enough time for these. Oh, they just missed the elevator. That they maybe they can't get the high ground, but it's fast. It's going to be close. Okay. All right. So they are going to get it. It's okay. It's on a cycle. It's not RNG. Wolf. Costos doesn't need it. Yeah, that's true. It's not RNG at all. Um, <laughs> but now they have ult advantage, positional advantage. Meta Athena in a really rough spot here. Rally to start the fight. Drop down. Cart. Just shy of B here at the moment. Shatter going to be ready from True. Waiting for that opportunity. Trying to work around Modern, who nearly has a Shatter of his own. He's going to slam it down, finds him, locks him in, but Apache is going to be popping out with that Transcendence. Bomb going to be straight in on top of the team, and Clefton finds two. Recry and Innovation both going to get taken down. Now Apache, Modern, who knocked out of the mech. Named is going to be the only one alive here with 10 seconds remaining. And I don't think he's going to be able to buy enough time. Apache desperately going to be swapping over onto that Hammond. Tag in name will force out that overtime. He's got some armor to work with, but he's got to make his way back over to the card. Tags in, but as he does, he will die. Apache now going to be arriving. Shatter comes in. They lock him in. That'll be the end and of it. This should just about be it. Modern cannot get there. They will be able to hold them just shy of B. Some really nice plays by Meta Athena uh, on the approach of the streets phase, but they were never able to take the fights they wanted. To win B, you usually have to take that choke point fight where you're at the ult advantage at that moment where you get a fight win without ultimates. That's how you get past B in almost every circumstance. And, you know, Conan Bethera just did not allow that. You know, from A, at the beginning of the streets phase, they were really patient, they were ult efficient, but they just could not get that one fight they needed. So it looks, you know, now for Kongu it looks very favorable. It's poised to take the second map, but it's not a long distance. Their biggest challenge, of course, will be point A. So that's, uh, we're gonna have to see if they can bring it home. I think if you're Meta Athena, you're really thinking about the A defense more than anything else. If you lose A, you know, the map is probably going Panthero's way, you'd have to imagine. It's pretty rare to see a cart stop this early. I, on Hollywood. Especially when you take a look at that first series. I mean, sure, it was a draw on Hollywood for Meta Athena versus GC Busan Wave, but they were at least able to full push the map at the beginning. They got it in overtime. GC Busan barely completed with time on the board. Nine seconds remaining for them. And then we went into OT. It was double full holds. No one was able to get that single tick on A. But you know, now to get held in front of B after having such a great time bank, they just kind of failed upwards into getting that cap on sure. A. Yeah. We didn't get to see the full story, obviously, with how they ended up getting those initial picks to, to translate into that, that cap, but it was just so bizarre. They had this massive time bank, and then they get held off for, you know, about five minutes or so in that streets phase. Well, we're going to see the scout here and then the swaps. Thought we might have seen an attempt on Apache because he plays so far forward. It would have been a nice opportunity because he was out of position to get a kill on the Zenyatta there, but he just scouts and translocates home. Kongu Benthera looking for that ult build. Push forward very aggressively here onto the point. Modern gets be tanked up just a little bit as that shield bash comes in. Hoon makes his way in behind True, however. Burns him down with the left clicks. Now the charge forward. Helps take down Choice Taiwan Costos as well. Going to be eliminated as Kongu Benthera just trying to back out with while well, keeping anybody that they possibly can Ooh. alive here. They only barely miss Merit. Merit feels so good about that one. He's like, I got all that extra ult charge and still survive. Got the quick respawn with my team. Save us a few seconds to get that ult charge. Agatha does more damage here, though, and he's going to have the first transcendence to try to get this point. That's he exactly is what this massively is about. ahead here. Yeah. 57% for Apache. Agatha going to have that transcendence up now. They make their way in onto the point. Home through the Panther nearly getting that first tick. Through going low. That's going to be the transcendence coming out. They topped up, first tick gonna be gained now. 
There's a meta that's gonna keep trying to work their way here on the point. Crowd Johnson's gonna be thrown down right into the front, the bomb into the back. Shield's gonna be coming up, looking for the pick offs, and it's gonna be three. Hone does it again, man. Taking them down. They managed to find Drew right at the start. Apache getting rid of that Rhine. They take out the shield, and everybody else falls over like a bunch of dominoes. And Cleston is, uh, well, you know, suffering the fate that every Diva player will suffer at some point. Yep. Nice the shield bash there in the end. And if you play at the professional level, you will suffer it many, many times a day. Yes. Well, for Kong to Panthera now, uh, it starts to feel a little bit scary. You know, you had this nice hold on B. Circumstantially, you know, based on the fact that Metathea couldn't take that fight with the choke, but now you're struggling to get A. You've only got a tick. Rally's out, armoring up everybody. Agatha needing that to stay alive. Now the Sam Barrier gonna be coming through. Saves his bum there. Guards coming in, Drew gonna get taken down. Hoon comes up with a kill. Push forward again out from Meta. Athena hounds him down, sweeps him under the rug. Time and time again, going to Panthera. They got that first tick. The time is getting drained down. Nearly a minute and a half remaining. They need to get something done here. Yeah, notice the positioning of Apache as well. Again, he's standing on top of the car here. He's just looking for more right-click damage to get another Transcendence. If he gets another Transcendence, I mean, it feels like you're on top of the world. He holds the armor too, now backing away. Grab for the choke is ready, but they want to use it on the point instead. Holding it. Just saw one. He collects and can he get one? No, it's going to be pinned straight into the side of the limo. Bombs up from both of these divas. Looking for the pickoffs. It's going to be a one for one exchange as Recry and Merit both can take it down. But Modern Answers back finds the pin there on the true. Takes him out. And Meta Athena have a vice grip on point A. They will not let go. Kongu Banthera struggling. We might just see a full hold here in response to yeah. a subpar push. Yeah, Meta Athena's defense, I have to say, is much better than their offense. And it's rare to say that about an Overwatch team. It's not like. You know, the NFL, where some teams just are so known. I mean, obviously, it's completely different players in the NFL. But, I mean, this team is just so good at taking defensive fights, defensive sets, rather than attacking. Innovation just trying to build some charge here. But the big story is the double support ultimates to shut down anything that Clone Bear Panthera can throw. They only have the Shatter now coming online. Well, Troy Wan just taking down Recry Mints to find the Shield Bash kill. They may not even be able to touch this. Yeah, break on break. Big Shatter is going to be huge, however, from True. Maybe this could be the turning point for Kobe Pit there to actually get this cap on A. 14 seconds remaining. The sound barrier there from Meta Athena, however. Named helping to keep everybody topped up as they retreat back over onto the point. Modern now going to be respawning, making his way back over to rejoin in with his comrades. Grabs on Surge coming down through, swinging away, finds Apache. Innovation going to fall. Who's going to get taken out of that mech? We might just have this cap coming through in overtime. Kongu Panthera on the back of a huge shatter. Managed to get this cap. They keep their hopes alive, but their time bank is not going to be that great. Two and a half minutes to make it just shy of B. And it was a huge mistake by name to Barrier right after he was unstunned. The reason why it wasn't up during the shatter itself was because he was caught in the stun. He was holding down his Q button, panicking. I need to get this sound barrier off the second I get up. But the problem is he used it there where it didn't matter, and he did not have it for the follow-up grab. And that is why that fight snowballed super hard for Kongdu Panthera right afterwards. And now they're going to have the high ground controlled. Uh, but it's it's a bit of an odd situation here where they're going to try to come up down for the fight. I actually really like these wraparounds that Kongdu Panthera have been going for today. Very creative. See if this one's gonna pay out, however. Swinging away, Drew up into the front line, looking to build up for another shatter. Agatha saving his life with this transcendence. They push forward, Modern can take it down. Hoon gonna be eliminated by Cleston, self-destruct, and Hoon himself will not find anything with that explosion. Clean sweep effectively coming through as they just get these final two kills. It's a very risky choice, but when you can execute it this well, as Panthera has multiple times now, from the high to low ground, whether it be defense or offense, um, this wraparound makes a lot of sense. Now they're looking to control the chokes. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to quite be able to do that. They don't have the ults yet. They're so close, but not enough. So now they're going to take the high ground once again. The sky approach that MVP space is popularized here in Korea. Keep on going for it. Push Meta Athena back over towards their spawn, then take the fight to them. Good for the hits here. Modern was able to get a decent little lock knockdown. Costos gonna be taken out. Not Surge comes through. Apache has that transcendence, keeping Modern topped up for the moment. Costos, sound barrier gonna be held here for the moment. True in the front line, going lower and lower. The sound barrier never gonna be coming through. Now Agatha gonna be taken down. They managed to find one back onto Apache. They needed that sound barrier. Now it's a little bit too late. Only gonna be profiting on the four members. But as I say, that choice they want comes up with a double kill. They're gonna be shoving Meta Athena back even further. For anyone was looking at like a great situation for Meta Athena into a win and an advance on the card for Kongdu. Yeah. 
But, uh, you know, now this is... Metathena has got one shot left. Kongu Panthera does not have ults to hold them at the choke. They're going to have to reset, regroup. This is basically the last fight. This decides this entire map right now. True is holding on to another shatter. Can it be just as big as the last one? Slams Decent. that one down. Manages to find three, but the sound barrier is going to be there. Bomb straight in on top of that ground. Search pop, pop. Agatha taken down. Course they want gone. Costos going to be eliminated. There's no supports left. It's just the Marin all on his lonesome with a graviton surge ready to come up, but the Team kill will come through, and Meta Athena are able to hold them off and pick up this win on Hollywood. Do not sleep on Meta Athena on this map. Their defense is incredible. It's almost inversely proportional to their weak offense there, but it doesn't matter when you can get these holds at the end of the day. Nearly the full hold on A, minus one panic moment from Named, but Named redeems himself there at the end, sets up that big explosion to win the map. And they take their first map of the season now, and they tie us up. So, I mean, this is a great feeling for Meta Athena to finally shake off those losses. It's been a long time coming for the squad that, you know, got stuck in relegation in season two, did not requalify for three, had to merge to get into season three here uh, by, you know, Metabellum uh, seeding. And it's just been a, a really, really rough road for, especially, I want to say, Hoon and Innovation. I mean, they've been playing since the beginning of the game, Innovation's been on a lot of different teams in Open Division. Had a rough season last season when it was his meta on Hitscan. Now he's forced to play Zarya. And uh, I think for, for those two players in particular, it finally feels like they could breathe a sigh of relief that, it, that there is still hope. And I think that if they can play as well as they just did on Hollywood, they may take this series. It is absolutely a strong possibility. And well, we got into halftime. I mean, that's what that's what everyone's thinking. I think that finally they're pumped up. Like the momentum is finally on their side, where it has not been in so long. Well, we do have a series on our hands, tied up one to one, as we get ready to go into the halftime break. So we'll get to see Kong Du Benthera making their map selection for assault. Let's see where they want to take us. They had their pick on hybrid. When they faced off against Gen G, they took us to Nambani. Gen G took us to Hanamura. Home to Benthera could not come up with a win there on that map. So, do they want to go to Hanamura themselves, or will we see a change? Yeah, that's the big question. Um, against Kong to Panthera, I think anything goes really. Uh, they end up winning their Kong to Panthera against Gen G. So, or sorry, their Hanamura rather. <laughs> I don't know. Well, either way, guys, we're gonna go to a quick break. We'll see you in just a couple minutes for the second half of this series.